Hey everybody, this is Core. Core's Baseball Card HQ. We have a 1989 Donruss Baseball 36-pack uh, box break. Uh, this is the last of my four boxes. Uh, we are going for the Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie Card, just as a, an example. This is what we're going for. Um, looking for a PSA 10. PSA 10 is going to be in the $250 range. 200 at least, and if not a little bit more. Uh, they're hard to get at a 10. Uh, the edges are black, and so they have a lot of chipping, a lot of wear. The corners are easy to damage, and uh, centering is a big issue with this product. So PSA 10s are hard to come by. Um, these boxes are still under $20 a piece. You can get these for under $20. Um, you also have other rookies in here. Craig Biggio and Randy Johnson are probably the bigger of the two for me. You also have Gary Sheffield, Kurt Schilling, John Smoltz in here as well. So we'll go ahead and get to opening. My son is here with me. He's going to be a good luck charm. So hopefully we will uh, get some good packs here. I got these boxes from Dave and Adams. Uh, they came back absolutely pristine. I may actually buy some more. Um, and I've been, I mean, they, they came well protected and the, the cards themselves have been in good condition. The centering has been great. So whatever case they bought these from or, or broke these open from or if they came from, if they came loose, that was even luckier, but it's been a, it's been a great set of boxes. So we'll go and start opening now. I'm not gonna read off all the names, guys. We come with a puzzle piece first. Uh, Warren Spawn, you can a lot of people uh, collected these sets or did the puzzle back in the day. Not many do now, but some still collect them. I don't, um, but this is what the card looks like. This is the back. And we are gonna be going ahead and just brushing through these. This is gonna be, try to be a quick video. I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. Um, if we see any of the Hall of Famers like Nolan Ryan, Kirby Puckett, Tony Gwynn, George Brett, Paul Molitor, Robin Young, you know, we'll maybe pull some of those guys aside, but, uh, for the most part, we're going to breeze through. We're really, there's what the puzzle piece looks like all put together. There's a Greg Olson rated rookie. Um, but we're looking for the Griffey and some of the other guys as well. There's the Oral Hershiser, 59 and counting. Haven't seen that card yet. I've seen the Conseco 4040. That was a... Another card in the set. There's a Ruben Sierra MVP. There's the Kurt Schilling rookie. That is actually centered pretty well. Kurt Schilling is not PC of mine, but he is for, I'm sure that rookie card is good for some people. Yeah, the centering on that's actually not bad. Tony Gwynn. Mark Jackson. There's an Edgar Martinez. John Smoltz rookie. You got two rookies in there, and his centering is not bad on this one as well. It's a good looking card. I was half hoping Griffey would round that off at the very end of the pack. That would have been one heck of a pack. Oh, it fell apart. All right, Kevin Brown, a good pitcher. Jose Canseco, there's the 40-40 card. Uh, Dave Henderson, Diamond Kings. I've uh, been opening several boxes today. A lot of them are just aimed at getting certain rookie cards. I've been lucky on some and struck out on a couple others, but overall, it's been quite enjoyable to break all these older sets. This is probably, 1989 Donruss is probably the product I've opened the absolute most because it's affordable. And there's Robin Yount, uh, Diamond King. And the Griffey Jr. rookie is one of my favorite cards in this set. It's just the, I don't know what it is about that card. It just has a very good eye appeal to me and I've always loved collecting them. Have quite a few in my collection. So, Bo Jackson wasn't centered too poorly. Now a lot of these common cards I don't I don't keep. I end up sleeving up and tacking on to a you know a lot or I you know kind of send extras to people if I can. Daryl Strawberry MVP. I keep Nolan Ryan. He's PC for me. Uh, Craig Biggio's PC for me as well actually. So any of his rookie cards are good. Yeah, that's actually the card I've pulled the most out of these packs. I've pulled more Biggios than I have anything else. For all you Biggio fans, I know y'all are all out there. It's a Fisk. It's Kirby Puckett and George Brett MVP. Said um, uh, a lot of Biggio fans out there, I'm sure. Andre Dawson. No Griffey yet, so we're through one quarter of the pack. We have three more to go. Steve Bajaz, Eric Hansen rated rookie. Usually there's an uh, Bo Jackson. There's an average one rated rookie per pack. Or if you get one in a pack, there's only one. I've had a couple instances where there's been two, but usually not more than that. Paul O'Neill. There's a Chris Carpenter rated rookie. There's David Cohn. Good pitcher. Cohn's rookie year was, I don't remember. 
Is that 88? I don't think it was 87. I think it was 88. I can't remember. It was Ozzy Smith, MVP. Julio Franco. That was one of my favorite players when I was a kid. When he was on the Rangers. Won the batting title. I think he had a batting average of 341 one year, maybe. 341. It's a random number to remember, but I know it was in the 340s. He was on fire that year. I mean, that guy was, I mean, the way he played into his 50s. Disappeared for a couple times, always came back, and one of the, I think he was the oldest baseball player. Can't remember for what exactly. He has some kind of record as the oldest player, but longevity, he played a long time. I think he, was it the Braves he ended up with at the very end? I don't remember. A little rusty on that knowledge. There's another puzzle piece and Greg Olson rated rookie. All right, Griffey, let's show up here. We're almost halfway through the box. I was hoping for a couple out of this box. Another of the 59 and counting Oral Hershiser. Ruben Sierra MVP again. There's a Kurt Schilling rookie again. Not too uh, bad on the centering. Not perfect. Left to right, we're off a little bit. Another Tony Gwynn. <clears throat> so we're seeing some repeats. It'd be nice to see a Griffey and then repeat the Griffey. All right, Edgar Martinez. There's a John Smoltz rookie card. That's not, not centered too poorly. Well, that's a good card. Dante Bichette, good player. There's a Jose Canseco 4040, so we are seeing some repeats here. Hopefully we'll be done with the repeats after this pack, and by the time we move to the other two stacks, we'll uh, get in a new set of cards, and maybe we'll get a Griffey out of that, because these all look pretty familiar. All right. You don't see a lot of repeating patterns in the this product, but there are a few. All right, Keith Miller. Uh, Joe Perry. No luck on that one. Oop, wrong one. So just a couple Kurt, got a, let's see, is it Kurt Schilling times two and a Smoltz times one? That's what we've hit so far. Still waiting for a Biggio. There's a Pete Harness rated rookie. Still waiting for a Biggio and a uh, Randy Johnson. Overall, I've only pulled a couple Randy Johnsons out of these boxes. Not a lot. There's speaking of Biggio, and as usual, he's almost perfectly centered. Darren Dalton. Mark Linke. I always pull Biggios, and I, I know that if I pull a Biggio, Griffey is not going to be in the pack. It's usually, usually the luck of those packs, and... This is, I believe, number seven on my Biggio list. I do sleeve him up, especially since he's centered well. Smoltz, he probably is going to get sleeved up here in a second, too. There's Coleman. Will Clark, MVP. I liked Will Clark a lot. He also played for the Rangers, in addition to the uh, Giants. All right. Ken Hill. Jack McDowell. Really good pitcher. Tom Gordon again. And Bobby Bonilla. I've seen that Bobby Bonilla Diamond Kings quite a bit. I still like that Don Ross does the Diamond King insert set. It's always one of my favorite insert sets. I wish they would cough up the money and get that licensing so we could get team names back on the Don Ross products and the Panini products. I know they focus on football and basketball. But I would buy a lot more of those cards if they had the uh, team names on the jerseys. And the cards, instead of just the state. There's another shilling rookie. Or our third shilling rookie. This might be the shilling box, Tony Gwynn. Which I'm, you know, not super excited about. But, again, if you're here for the shilling cards, then you are in luck. We've had three of them. Alright, Van Snyder. Jeff Blauser, remember Jeff Blauser. Dante Bichette again. Kevin Brown again. Not a Griffey again. All right, last one of my third. Not not getting too excited, guys. I kind of, once you get a feel for the, um, the Gary Carter, RIP, Rafael Palmero, and then Barry Bonds, Rafael Palmero and Barry Bonds, not in the Hall of Fame for pretty much the same reason. All right, but once you get a feel for these cards, there's Nazi Smith. And you kind of start noticing patterns you get a feel for if you're not going to get a certain card or not. Wade Boggs and Don Mattingly back-to-back. -back. Not centered well, but 
good players. It's a good. That was a, there's another. There's a Jose Canseco and another star in there somewhere. It's Cal Ripken, not centered. Corey Snyder made Diamond Kings for this year. Barry Larkin, that's centered well. Roberto Alomar, also centered well. Greg Harris, rated rookie. These are newer cards. New new uh, pattern, so maybe we'll get lucky. Paul Kilgus. Ricky Henderson. Andre Dawson, MVP. All right. Moving down, got six packs left. This is the sixth. Mark Grace, a good player as well, and Will Clark. Use. All right. Moving along, moving along. Roscoe, Roger Clemens. That one already. Billy Ripken. Reynolds, uh, not rookie. There's a Greg Jeffries. Good rookie. Big card at the time. Uh, Dwight Gooden. Paul Molitor, MVP. Random upside down card. Switch that pack up. Dave Winfield. Daryl Strawberry. Gerald Perry. Made Diamond Kings as well. Alright, three packs left. Think I'm gonna get it, bud? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Bird by 11. It's a Gary Sheffield rookie. That's centered fairly well, but we have uh, some white issues on the corner here. That might be from manufacturing. It may not be a, on the card. I'll have to look at that a little closer. Again, that's part of the problem you get with these uh, with these cards, This those black edges. All right, Eddie Murray. That's good. Dennis Eckersley. Pink Cavillia. Sandy Alomar. There's the Sandy Alomar. Actually, that's not a... I think 88's his rookie year. I don't think 89's his rookie year. I have to go back and look that up. I can't remember. We'll keep it down just in case. Mark McGuire. I cannot remember if that's his, his rookie. I feel bad. All right, last pack. Last chance for a Griffey. May strikeout. Joe Carter. Mike Sosha. Claudio Washington. Lee Smith. Gary Pettis is a good Robin Yount. And a good Kirby Puckett. And Carlton Fisk. And they're loading up this one. But no Griffey. All right. So this was a rather uneventful. We had three wonderful Kurt Schilling rookies. I have a stack of uh, cards to go through. Um, but uh, we'll find one of those Schillings here buried. There's a Schilling. And we also got a Smoltz. Schilling again. Another Smoltz and a Schilling again. So really, the big hit for me was this. Fairly well-centered Vigio. Might have a little scuffing on the edge there at the top right, but that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Have more videos coming, and I will see you soon.